Hey, I'm Dave Chang. I'm here at my friend's kitchen. I don't even know where anything is, but I'm gonna make you guys a bunch of recipes. To start off, I'm gonna start off with a soy and scallion noodle. I think I'm gonna make it vegetarian. Uh, I'm gonna make some, I saw some cabbage in the fridge, some tofu. Uh, I'm gonna stir fry that, and then I'm gonna add it to the noodles, and I'm gonna figure it out as I go. But I'm gonna get started right now. This is probably, I think, the, the most consumed Momofuku noodle, soy and scallion. Um, this is, I think, classic, classic, classic Momofuku. So, excited to start off with this. So, if I have one criticism of our own noodle, sometimes I wonder how many I should eat as one person. I feel like two, two packets is the right one. So this is what I usually do when I'm making this. I, add, I get everything open first. As the water gets to a boil. And my scallions, scallions are here. Um, they're crucially important to the flavor. They're dried scallions, but they actually bring a lot of flavor. So very, very important. And these seasoning packets are um, a lot of R&D with these. Small packets, lots of flavor. So as that's cooking, look at my veg. So I'm gonna dice this tofu. It's firm, which is important. And I'm gonna put it back into the container. Because when I'm cooking at home, I'm trying to use everything at my disposal so I don't have to make more dishes. I'm just going to marinate it in some momo soy. The thing I hate to do the most is pre-plan so it's an exact ingredient with exact recipe because you never know where you're going to be. I didn't plan on being here today. I didn't know exactly where everything is at. So you sort of have to improvise as you go along, but I have a game plan in mind. I know these flavors, these are classic Momofuku flavors. You know, you have a lot of umami, you have the soy, you have the scallion. All of these elements sort of turn into this beautiful flavor. How do I accentuate that? I mean, Again, if this was cooked in the restaurant this way, not flying, right? So the reason I like cooking at home is I can turn off professional mode and just try to make tasty, delicious food. If this is a perfect, listen, this is horribly cut. I'm okay with that. What I think about home cooking is in a professional kitchen, I'm looking to hit the bullseye directly, dead center, every time. If we miss on that mark, it's a total failure. At home, I just want to hit the damn target. That's how I look at it. Well, that's going, I'm gonna add my noodles. So when I make the noodles at home, oftentimes I might just cook it in, a, in the microwave in a bowl, uncovered. That's one way. This is another way. This is the, probably the most tried and true way. There is actually one tip that I can give regardless of however you cook it. Clearly you want it to be boiling, but you want to actually, I like over, what you almost feel like is overcooking it. The way these noodles are made, they're, they're, they're dried. They're not deep fried. So that entire process changes the structure of the noodle. So it's got a different elasticity and chew when you rehydrate it, which is why it takes a little bit longer and a lot more cook time. When I say a lot more, you're talking about like four minutes instead of two minutes. That's still saving you a tremendous amount of time, but I like cooking it just a little bit longer than you might normally an instant noodle. So if I wasn't, Wow, this wok sucks. So if I wasn't making this, I'd probably just, I would add everything 
to this bowl, I mean this pot, after I strain it out. But I'm adding the scallions directly to this. So it got a little bit of seasoning because I added the momo soy sauce. I am now gonna add the packet seasoning and it's just gonna be right. So the seasoning is like designed already to be used one packet per one noodle. But with, I would say you probably add like 15 to 20% other stuff without changing the seasoning whatsoever. Because this is a lot more weight, I'm, I'm just like seasoning this so it's all gonna be balanced when it comes together. It's like a magic trick. It always boggles my mind how flavorful these packets are. And again, that's a lot of R&D that goes into making these sauces. Really, this is not what you do at home, but most people would not be doing this. So, if I was just eating this as is, clean, with just the seasoning packets and the scallion, I would cook this just a little bit longer. But as you can see, I have these noodles. So like if you're making an Italian pasta, you have the carryover cooking time and you wanna cook it together in here. So I'm gonna drain this now. Well, you know, at home, I don't take it to oftentimes a flavor I might at the restaurant because this is something, the reason why this is being made as well, this is something my kids can eat. You know, it's, it's clean, it's simple, it's not super spicy. I'm looking for it to be something where everyone can enjoy. So that's what I'm looking at when I'm seasoning something like this. Right now I'm gonna check the seasoning. This would easily feed my family of four. My wife, my oldest son, my youngest son's not eating this. For three people, this is plenty. And this is just basically any vegetables you have in their fridge that you wanna pair with the soy and scallion noodle. Someone should go to fucking jail. Uh.